Hi Cancer, welcome to your spirit messages for Cancer. This, These are messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. So welcome in. Thank you so much for being here, whether you're new or returning. Thank you, thank you so much. So let's see what we have for Cancer. And this is intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever, even though it's dated December. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So if you'd like to check out past readings, you can um, look in the description box below for Cancer playlists or all there. So let's see what we have for Cancer. What does Spirit want you to know? Messages from your Spirit Guides, from Spirit for Cancer for the month of December or whenever. For at this time, let's say at this time. Okay, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? If you're new, my name is Mary and this channel is Leo Sunlight Insight Tarot. So welcome. So I'm going to pull three from each Oracle deck and then we'll go over. So let's get three cards from this deck. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I am using. So three messages for Cancer from this deck, please, Spirit. What do they need to know? I'm feeling this. Okay, I'm going to take the, those two. Let's get one more. I'm feeling that one. That is Earth Magic. This is Work Your Light. So let's get three messages. Um, if you don't want to watch the shuffling, you can skip ahead. You can speed up the reading and the settings. All right. Let's get three messages from, okay, I'm feeling those two. And this one, I'm going to short and sweet. And, and this is the spirit messages. So let's get three from this deck. And then we're going to pull some clarifiers with the tarot on top. Got one tarot per card. So sometimes these messages all intertwine uh, into one big message. Or sometimes they're all small individual messages. So we'll see what we get here. So one, two. Oh, that's too many. One more. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have from the earth magic. So we have fairies, <laughs> earth magic. So I may read um, out of the deck a little bit on these. So we have Earth Magic, we have Fog Veiled, and we have Dance Celebration. So maybe uh, this is telling you to be in a higher vibration with this Dance Celebration, or you may actually be attending some sort of uh, celebration ceremonies. It could be Christmas parties. This is telling you to dance, have a good time, go out, celebrate. If you've been indoors a lot, it's time for you to get out, have some fun. Um, raise your vibration also. And fog here is about something that you may not see clearly. Maybe um, that fog may finally be um, lifted. A veil may finally be lifted and you may uh, see something clearly. And earth magic here is all about uh, fairies. So sort of like a magical energy. So let's see what the fairies have to say. Um, fairies are nature spirits thought to be descended from earthly tribes, particularly the Tolka de Danana. I don't know what that is. Those associated with goddess Dana, who's once ruled Ireland that inhibited the British Isles. Over time, these ancient peoples uh, I just want to read the main message here. Uh, you have the same power available to you as the fairies do. It starts with li loving the earth through your heartfelt gratitude and appreciation, but more important through your actions. The fairies can help you reconnect in a more intimate way with the earth, and all they require is your willingness to pay attention to the trees and plant life around you and demonstrate your care. Whether you live in a small space or have an expanse of land, make it a point to be especially attentive to your surrounding vegetation. Plant something. Get your hands in the dirt and do some do so with love and enthusiasm. Every flower tree or shrub you are tending is a living being. So treat each other like treat each like you would a dear friend. Ask the fairies to help you take care of these friends and you will be rewarded many times over. So some of you just may, if you're thinking about starting, like maybe next spring, starting a garden or uh, a flower garden or something like that, then this is probably telling you that you probably should. Maybe some of you need to get outside in nature more and ground yourself, spend more time uh, with, you know, out just out in nature, walking, hiking, uh, sitting in the, even just sitting in the park, 
you know, go over and touch a tree, touch the earth, you know, take off your shoes and walk in the grass in the park in the spring and the summertime and get that grounding energy. And it can also help to relieve stress and tension too. Um, some people don't know that, that, you know, touching the earth has to be like actual dirt, grass, whatever here. It can't be cement or the pavement or anything like that. Actually putting your hands or your feet right on the earth, a tree, anything like that, even just a rock, um, can help to relieve tension, anxiety, stress, and it will help to ground you. So, and veil there, I do believe vague, there may be something that you're not seeing clearly. Um, let's see. You are enmeshed in confusion and uncertainty and are unsure if it will ever clear up. This is not the best time to make decisions, particularly any major ones. Know that this foggy veil will eventually dissolve, although there may be ways you are unconsciously contributing to the state. The greater the truth that is that is that this is simply a cycle you are moving through, and like all things, this too shall pass. Allow yourself to feel confused. In fact, decide to be confused. No matter what, ha what attempts you make right now to make things happen or move in any specific direction out of impatience or frustration, you risk only creating more confusion and uncertainty. So be still and patient. Wait for the first glimmer of awareness to lift the veil so that you can see the choices before you before you more clearly and you and I'm sorry <laughs> and can then choose to align yourself with the will of spirit. So there's something you're feeling confused about right now. You're not seeing things clearly. Just take your time. Um, just let it pass. Don't um, try to make a decision or a choice um, out of frustration or before you're supposed to. Um, I'm really getting energy here of just grounding yourself, letting this fogginess pass, and then there'll be some celebration here. So things will be, be in a better state. Or some of you may be attending some sort of celebration here or raising your vibration. So here we have awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So this could be a spiritual awakening of some kind or just seeing, you know, once this fog, this fail is lifted, then having like awakening and like seeing things clearly that you need to see. And then we have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no, exactly. So if you're feeling, if you need to make a decision, just say, no, I can't right now. I don't feel it's the right time. Something here definitely is telling you no. If you don't feel it's the right time and you need to wait, then you need to say no. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So if some of you have been thinking about starting something new, a new creation, uh, starting a new hobby, whatever here, starting something new, totally new, this is telling you to go for it so all right so let's see here we have the spirit messages let go once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in your power to protect you so again and it's right under veil i just placed it right under veiled so there's something you're confused about and you're like really hanging on to it because you just don't know what to do you don't know what choice to make it's saying here for now just to let it go just to let it pass till you see things clearly and get have that awakening you may need to just say no for now i can't do this right now and just waiting just waiting this reminds me of fall we are in fall right now so maybe you just have to wait till next month Okay, we have ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you and we asked you at this point in time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So just know that passed over loved ones, ancestors, they are watching you, they're looking over you, they're protecting you, they're trying to help you, guide you in the right direction. So this may all intertwine together, if that makes sense for some of you. 
And we have here intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound and sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us, connect, keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. So this is really telling you to trust your intuition, your higher knowing, your um, gut feelings. If something's telling you, I can't make a decision right now, I'm not seeing things clearly, I'm too confused, it's not the right time, and spirit and ancestors may be guiding you to say no at this time, to let it go, and I'll make this decision at a later time when I'm more in tune and touch and awaken to the energy, to myself, the veil is lifted, then, and you're more grounded, then you can make this decision that you may need to make for some of you. So different, like some of it's kind of intertwining. Some of it is different messages. Some of you, if you're thinking of starting something new, a new hobby, uh, just something new, whatever that may be, um, a new job, a new hobby, a new life, I mean, whatever, moving, whatever here that's telling you to go for it. All right, so I'm going to pull one tarot for each card just to get a little more uh, clarity. So I do ask Cancer, if you're new and you like my style, to please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. All the great stuff. Um, be greatly appreciated. If you subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, you'll get four readings a month. All different, so don't miss out on that. You can check out my channel, and if you like what you see, please do subscribe. Um, you can check the description box below. Tons of information there if you like a personal reading. And um, what else here? And thank you to everybody for all your support. If you've supported the channel in any way, thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So, all right, Cancer. Let's see. Let's pull one tarot for each. Let's see what we get here. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. A little more clarity here, just to clarify. All right. I like to go over the bottom of the deck. So six of wands, the spirit wants you to know you are going into a much better place here. There will be success, victory for you, sun for enlightenment, uh, happiness and joy, to be strong, courageous, and brave with that lion energy. So things going definitely in a better direction, being very enthusiastic and successful in some way. So let's see what we have here for Earth Magic. So we got the four of wands. So something in your home life may, may need ground, uh, grounding in some way. If it's a marriage, if it's a commitment, if it's um, something in your home life, your home basis, your foundation. It could be just planning, like I said, a garden or some kind um, around your home, around your house. If you've been wanting to plant a garden of some kind, this is telling you to go for it. And something uh, may need grounding, um, stabilizing the foundation. If it's not that, stabilize, stabilizing the foundation of your home, your marriage, your commitments. Here with the um, four wands. That's a fiery, passionate fire energy. So now we have veil. So three of cups energy here. So, I mean, the three of cups can talk about... Um, Reuniting, coming back together, celebrations, uh, you know, rejoicing, having a good time. Can also speak of third parties, maybe. Uh, so if there's something with a third party you're not seeing clearly, I think you'll finally see the light of the situation. Um, or if you're in a third party, you may finally have that veil lifted and realize, okay, now I need to step out of this or some of you once this veil is lifted and the fogginess is cleared and you're thinking and seeing clearly and able to make this decision there'll be happy times ahead um, after you've made this decision so whatever decision you make i feel in the future will lead to um happiness here and good times and celebrating for some so different messages there so take that how um it resonates for you so we have celebration so you again <laughs> there may be um you're waiting because we do have the three of cups over here. So you could be waiting on, you know, a lover to make a choice on you and someone else. And I feel like they will choose you with the lovers here. You know, this is about choices. This is about 
two lovers, soulmates coming together. And I think there'll be a celebration here. Um, this could be commitment. This could be marriage. This could be engagement. Um, someone choosing you over somebody else or coming back to you, which will cause this happy, joyous, celebrating, celebration kind of energy. Dancing for joy. You'll be dancing for joy here, I think. Wow. And the Four of Wands is about commitment. So something's grounding here in a commitment, I feel. I feel somebody will choose you if that's for some of you, if that's what you're been, if you've been waiting on. If not, then plant that garden in, you know, and uh, once you make a decision, the veil is lifted that you've been needing to make happy times ahead. And some of you be having good times here with your loved one, with your significant other. All right. Some of you could actually be going to a wedding. All right, so now we have Awakening in the Emperor. So this is Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here. So somebody who is in control, in charge, who is fully awakened here. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. And you see how this card, how he's really like awakened here. So somebody really being in their power, they know their value, their worth. Um taking control, being that leader, taking control of their life or whatever here, just having that big awakening and just really taking control of things here in their life. So it's a good energy. I'll put that like that. Okay, so let's see. No, Ten of Pentacles. So <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles usually is a marriage card. Um, wait, po postpone, pause, say no. So some of you actually may say no if somebody proposes to you or wants to get married or marriage or whatever here. Somebody, some of you may actually say no. Or maybe you just don't want to be married. Maybe you just rather be in a, um, you know, long-term commitment situation, but not, not married. So some of you may say, look, we could spend our life together, but I don't actually want to be married so that maybe for some of you here, but I do, do see there is the chance here for total growth, abundance coming together and, you know, in that kind of situation. But some of you may not want that and may actually, if you're proposed to this month or want, um, somebody wants to get married, some of you may be saying no, that you'd rather just live together or something like that. Okay. So what do we have here? Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being so we have the three of swords here which is a very um three swords is a hurtful painful um situation so i feel like some of you maybe have gone through something painful hurtful here but now you're it's like a rebirthing of yourself it's um a transformational time and now you know you're creating a whole new world for yourself coming out of some sort of painful situation here so whatever that is for you, if it was a relationship, it could have been a career or something here, uh, it was very hurtful, painful, but now, you know, just birthing something new, a new world coming out of that hurtful energy and do seek success, victory here. So whatever you're going through, I do see things getting better. So we have let go. Yeah. Ten of swords, painful, hurtful ending here. So some of you definitely could have gone through some sort of painful, hurtful ending here. And Spirit wants you to know it's okay to let go, let go of that painful ending because you have all these new things coming in for you, working on a uh, new future going forward. So yeah, it's okay to let go of this hurtful, painful thing here. If you're afraid to let go, Spirit says, no, nope, it's time. All right, so ancestral wisdom, the world. So this is like all the energy of the cosmic energy, the world, the um, universal energies of the world, of the universe coming in here, giving you support, giving you um, wisdom, trying to lead you, guide you in the right direction. This is about cycles closing and new cycles starting. So they have your back. <laughs> the world has your back, the cosmic energies, the universal energies, world energies here, all have your back. They're guiding you. They're leading you. They're trying to uh, show you their wisdom to lead you in the right direction. Your spirit guides, your angels, your 
ancestors, your past over loved ones, all these universal energies. Wow. Wow, Cancer. Okay, so let's get one more message. So we have intuitive nudges, so trust in your intuition. King of Pentacles, so king or queen, doesn't matter here. So again, uh, king of Pentacles, I mean, you may try to analyze things that come from a analyt analytical point of view, like a more reasoning, grounding kind of energy, because the Pentacle energy is all about... Um, it's like business savvy, it's like smarts over, you know, logic over like spiritual energy. But spirit wants you to know is no, it's okay to be in this, you know, secure, stable kind of energy, like only logic and um, what makes sense. But it's okay to trust your gut, your intuition and your higher knowing and really, really pay more attention to that than material and monetary things. But this is somebody, you know, and I think this will lead you in a more stable, grounded energy moving forward with um, success here. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, definitely moving into a very abundant energy moving forward here. Wow, Cancer. A lot of different energies here. So I hope these resonated for you. Uh, so sending you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I will see you next time. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.